guys, Ralph here. True Power Trumpet Fitness. I am off to a church thingy, and I gotta make this quick. Uh, so let's do it. I'm all warmed up. I will take my B flat, or his Big Bertha, as what Mel Broyles would call it, and my piccolo. And armed with all the transposition, transposition that uh, Vacchiano gave me, nothing I can't play. Anyway, what have we learned from the last six months of my, my YouTube channel? <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank you all. Um, from my perspective, it's been wildly successful. Um, I'm very, very happy with, with, with the way it's going. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. From what I can tell, most of you have. And um, yeah, I, I hope we can keep it going, uh, make it bigger and reach more people and uh, you know, get a more community type of thing going, uh, some communication. I, I, I think it's absolutely wonderful for the nowadays. Uh, most research shows that most uh, YouTube channels take a minimum two years to take off. Um, so in two years, if, you know, I'm proportionally more in households than, than I am now, I mean, I mean, that'll be wonderful. Now, the thing about it is, I'm thinking, and I have no way of knowing, I'm thinking, what, there's maybe 10,000 trumpet players in the world that actually would benefit from what I'm saying, as opposed to billions, <laughs> you know, in the world with something else. I mean, at least half of them, uh, this doesn't do any good because of the language barrier. So, what are we down to about five thousand? So again, what I've been getting in the short amount of time is unbelievable. I'm thrilled with it, absolutely thrilled with it, and couldn't be considered a complete success at this point. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Also, if you guys have certain things you want me to cover, let me know. It seems like there were a lot of questions about the tone that I put a bit out and all that sort of stuff. So if there's something, you know, actually one of the, uh, one of the uh, friends uh, suggested Al Hurt, which is a great, great, great subject. I mean, what a marvelous trumpet player that guy was. And very, very underrated in, in, in the pantheon of the whole thing. He was a very, very talented guy. Anyway, to the actual channel, what have we learned? <laughs> First of all, I think the most overwhelming comment is the sound of the video. Now, let me explain. Guys, I know exactly what you're saying. I have done hundreds, if not thousands, of studio recordings in my day. Some, you know, very big time stuff some, you know, little nickel and dime stuff. I mean, I could definitely go right around the corner. There's a guy that owns a studio right around the corner that says, anytime you want, blah, 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 you come down, you know. And I can put reverb, and I can do different takes, and I can punch in bad notes and all this sort of stuff. That's not what I want. Heck, I still know people very, very well from, from New York City. I mean, I could go in and put out videos that, that sound like, you know, Wynton Marsalis' Grammy award-winning recordings. I could do that, you know. And again, I don't want to do that. This is exactly what I want. I want you to hear me right up front, warts and all, and how I go about doing things over the course of a day with this system. That's what I want. Now, as far as the sound is concerned, again, I don't, I don't know anything about technology, okay? Stupid little pictures that I put in above, you know, when I'm talking about made, that's about the extent of my, my editing prowess. Um, one of these videos, five, eight, ten minute video, will take me approximately an hour and a half to two hours to, to, to get it out. 
Okay, so once again, if I'm running down to this and edit, it's just too much time for, for the little bit. Now, is the sound distorted? Absolutely. One of my friends, my sound engineers, actually explained to me what goes on. This is a Mac laptop, okay, and not even a new one. Um, and what it does is the microphones or the audio equipment, whatever's on the inside, adjust the volume level to a speaking volume level. If you notice, what I just played is no louder or softer than what, what I'm speaking now. And when I'm knocking down the walls of Jericho with some sort of a Maynard Ferguson lick or something, it comes out volume-wise the exact same thing as when I am trying to play pianissimo. Okay? That's just the way it works. And in order to do that, it has to condense the sound, and it is very, very much distorted. Okay? Now, everybody says, no, we can hear the trumpet fine, but we can't hear you when you're speaking. When I play the trumpet, and I try to play as far away from the, the, the um, computer as I can, so the least distortion, the volume adjusts on the computer, and then when I start talking and what's infinitely softer, it takes a couple seconds to adjust. That's why I play back there, take a couple seconds to come up here and speak right here, and by that time, it's adjusted. I don't like to play right in front of me. I will occasionally, occasionally do it because I want you to see chops or something like that, but that's it. Now, my tone is, <laughs> believe it or not, more powerful than what you're getting here. It is much richer. The condensation, the, the way it condenses the sound just takes away all the, all the um, timbre, for lack of a better term, and it sounds very, very nasal, which is fine which is absolutely fine. I have, I have no problem with that. But when I'm playing strong, it really tends to get distorted. Um, my Doc Severinsen one, very, very distorted. I was playing very loud. I was playing like Doc Severinsen. Uh, what was the one? Oh, the one where I said I, I, I do no routine. Very, very distorted. Okay? You're not getting the timbre. That, that's, that's going in the condensed thing. So, again, I'm doing my best. I have used different... Um, uh, microphones. I have used, you know, camcorders. I've used my phone. This seems to be the best and the easiest, so let's live with it. <laughs> okay, the videos themselves. God bless him. 87 years old. Jerome Callan is still a rock star. He is far and away more hits than anybody else. Okay. Uh, next in line, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, uh, Arnold Jacobs fans. He's number two and with a bullet. And I had to do a couple of them to tame you guys down because I, I'm not going to put up with cursing and swearing. So um, if we're going to have a discussion, and I don't, mind if, I don't mind if you disagree with me. My God, I was in the music business for how many years? <laughs> I know there's a different point of view. That's the whole point of this. Get a forum, get a discussion. And if you want to tell me I'm nuts, go ahead. See how, much I, see how much it affects me? <laughs> really, it's fine. Chances are, guys, if you don't like my tone, trust me, I probably don't like yours. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. That's the beauty of music, okay? So, you know, that's that. But just, as I said many times, keep the swearing down. And once I, once I um, approach that, that part of it, it seemed to go away. So that's fine. The difference of opinion is fine. Um, and Arnold Jacobs fans, God bless you. God bless you. I still stand by what I said, but God bless you. Um, next in line, believe it or not, I couldn't believe this. Lynn Nicholson, of all people, is getting infinitely more hits than Maynard. <laughs> Go figure. And I'm not taking anything away from Lynn Nicholson. I made it quite clear. I think he's spectacular. Maybe the fact that he's still with us and still you know, available for lessons and still doing videos and everything as opposed to this man that has passed away, maybe that's it. Okay, but um, anyway, um, what am I going to say? And that's another thing. I realize that I am much older than my tar target audience, and that's fine. And I do a lot of videos of people that are dead. <laughs> you know, Mel Boyce, Maurice, Harry James, Horace Fisher, all my guys are, are no longer with us, okay? And I understand that, but as I said, I really and truly believe that they are monster trumpet players that should be exposed to people that 
have not heard them. And quite frankly, guys, if you're a high school kid, a college kid that plays the trumpet, and if you've never heard Maurice Andre, you, 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 you just, you're just not. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So I am going to expose you to, to older guys and whatnot and let you decide for yourself what you like. Uh, next in line, um, people don't care that too much about Winton's Chops. <laughs> That's uh, a little uh, mezza mezza. Uh, Claude Gordon, I've gotten a lot of things about him. Um, a lot of... Not, not a whole lot of hits, but a lot of questions and whatnot from Claude Gordon, um, people that, that do that method. So that was very interesting. Um, obviously, you guys don't care one darn about the diet. <laughs> so I won't bother anymore. I, I, I won't beat you with it. If, if you have any questions about the diet, you can get in touch with me, and I, I can give them, you know, in a different form, email or something like that. Um, kettlebells. A couple of you guys uh, took me up on the free kettlebell lesson. A couple only. I'm surprised it was, wasn't that much. All right. Okay. I mean, that's fine. As I said before, you don't need them, but it does help. Um, one else. <laughs> what else have we had? And I guess that's it. Again, we're getting up about 12 minutes, which is way too long. So um, that's that. So please, for, again, thank you very much for all that you've done. Uh, Please, if you have suggestions for something you want me to research, or may, maybe you know an older guy, an older guy that I might have come in contact with, or something like that. There's dozens of studio guys. I mean, Lou Soloff and, and, and Marvin Stam, and all those guys that I played with that, that I could give insight into. But their playing isn't readily available unless you listen to a lot of, a lot of Pepsi Cola commercials, stuff like that. Um, so anyway, that's that. So again. Keep those cards and letters coming and the emails and give me, give me your stuff down below. And um, sorry about the sound. We'll do what we have to do. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Fruits and veggies. That's not going to change. And uh, live your life with true power. Love you all. I got to get to church. <laughs>